That's a ridiculous thing to say out loud. I hope he knows he's silly. Bastard, bastard. I hate you, bastard. I hate her little monologues inside her head that are like that. I need to read things that are coherent. Draco looks at the pair of us, his eyes flickering between me and his father, and for a second a small frown creases his brow. He looks at me quizzically. I'm no like liar, Draco. Think about what I've said. Whether he can perform legitimacy, legitimacy like his father. Fuck! Oh, that is so annoying. I missed it by ten seconds. That sucks hella dick. Oh my god, okay. Like his father or not, I don't know. I'm guessing not, because his frown disappears almost immediately, to be replaced with a malicious little grin. Enjoy the show, Granger, he mutters. I can't wait to see the look on Potter's face when he sees you. Remember what I, remember what I told you, Jacob. Lucius says quietly, he'll be now acting up, just because it's Potter. We have a job to do. Understand that. Lucy Woof Draco smiles at me horribly. But I want some compensation when it's over, father. If I have to go if I can't have a go at Potter, then at least I want to be able to spend some quality time with the mudblood. You hear the thing she's been saying? I don't need to hear it, Draco. Lucius snaps before he remembers himself and smiles at his son and at me. But then, I suppose, it could not do, it could do no harm. He considers it for a moment. And then he makes up his mind. Yes. When the night is over, you may re renew your acquaintance with Miss Granger. I dare say the pair of you have missed each other over these past few months. Draco smiles at me along with his father. The Malfoy smile. A pair of pleasant snakes. It all it takes all of my power to stop me from not sh from shaking with fury. My parents aren't even cold. I say quietly. I don't know specifically which I don't know which spe specific Malfoy I'm really talking to at this mo at that moment. Isn't that enough for you? Shut up. Lucius twists my his hand on my arm, pulling a gasp from my mouth before he turns back to his son. Take your place. Um, um, um. He rushes me forward towards the door that leads out to the burrow's garden. I feel his wand dig into my back, pressing hard into my ribs. I don't think I need to remind you of what the consequences will be should you decide to try and run away. He whispers into my ear. Don't make me hurt you any more than I already have done. For God's sakes, does he really expect me to believe that he doesn't enjoy hurting me? Not even a little bit? We're all in position. Like uh, some horrible... <laughs> Tableau. Me and Lucius up in front, the Death Eaters surrounding us in a masked crowd. And we wait. We all wait. Perfectly still in the darkness, with only darkness. Did you hear that? That was cray cray. Anyways, with only the light of a few illuminating wands to provide any relief for our eyes. God knows how long we wait. And horrible. Silent darkness. Lucius' fingers bite into my arm, and I feel his breathing on the back of my neck. Far too close, as always. My heart is pounding so hard in my chest it's going to burst any minute. Maybe Harry's not coming. But of course he does come. I was stupid for hoping otherwise, wasn't I? The door creaks open. A wonderfully familiar figure stands shadowed in the doorway. Harry fucking Potter! What, bitch? What? Okay. <laughs> Harry Potter in this bitch, by the way. So exciting. Okay, anyways. Harry Potter, what? He's here, what? Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I'm like so tired, but I'm like, Harry Potter, yay! <laughs> Who doesn't like a good Harry Potter? Okay.
Oh no, I had to do his voice. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Um, okay, anyways. Ah, uh, a wonderfully familiar face stands shadowed in the doorway, his wand lit in a Lumos spell. The first time since my capture, I see Harry's face. The untidy hair, the glasses, the bright green eyes, not blue, to be confused with blue eyes that are not what Harry Potter's eyes are. The scar, his face is set in determination as he enters the house, and the Death Eaters all automatically raise their wands at him. Lower your wands, and I will cooperate with you, he says, his voice almost calm and yet not. If I didn't know him as well as I do, I would say that he's calm. It's so good to hear that voice again. It's exactly like my voice, except for a little bit lower with a slight English accent, just like every other character. Uh, the Death Eaters look to Lucius for orders. I turn my face. <laughs> it's just like my voice. <laughs> I turn to face. Um, I turn my face to watch his reaction. He surveys Harry down t his nose haughtily before making a lowering gesture with his wand. It won't be necessary, he says quietly. I think Potter knows that he has no choice but to comply with our wishes. He places his hands on his shoulders, on my shoulders, in a definite gesture of ownership. He knows what will happen if he does not. Harry's eyes flicker down to meet mine, and only then does he lose his composure. His face blanches, visible even in the wand light. That sounds like a silly sentence, wand light. He tries a tiny, a tiny smile of reassurance, but there's no happiness in it. Of course there isn't. He's about to walk to his death. He's not going to be happy. I'm not going to let him do this. I'm not going to let these bastards win. Go, Harry! Go, Harry. Go, Harry. It's your birthday. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> it's so silly. <laughs> I shot struggling against Lucius, who, quick as a flash, snakes his arm around my waist, holding me firmly in place. Run! Don't hand yourself over! It doesn't matter! They'll kill me anyways! Lucius Wan stabs me in the throat, cutting off my yells with fear. Be quiet! His harsh whisper is hot on my cheek. Don't make this any more difficult than it has to be. If you want to see just how easily I could kill you, then try to make one more step. Let it go, Malfoy! Harry yells, pointing his wand at Lucius, his face furious. God. Didn't I? Okay, whatever. Lucius' ha head snaps up to face Harry. He removes his wand very slowly from my throat and shifts his arm to from my waist and, I grip and, and grips my arm instead. I can breathe again. Let's not allow ourselves to send it to childish bickering. Lucius draws. We're all adults now, Potter, and so I'll make you this nice and clear for you. He pauses for effect, and it works, of course. Harry's knuckles whiten as he grips on his wand tighter. The Dark Lord showed you what this foul specimen, oh, don't be rude, it's fucking rude, I'm sorry, has been going through because of you. Lucius draws piteous, pity, Pitilessly. Uh, you saw her suffer horrifically because of your friendship with her. You were given the opportunity to rescue, to stop her suffering, but you turned it down. No. No. Harry says, desperation in his voice, and he looks to me, ashed faced, ashen faced, ashed. Ash, I don't know that word. I do, but it's not weird. Ashen face, whatever. I don't care. His wand shaking in his head. Oh, my dear, you don't understand. I couldn't. The order. And what did that little act of defiance cost? That's what you have to ask yourself, Potter. Lucius completely ignores Harry's Potter's Harry Potter's <laughs> Harry's desperate attempt at an explanation. Do you really? Do you know exactly what your hesitation has cost your little mudblood friend? No. Don't bring that up. The pain of it still stabs me like a thousand knives all over my body. 
Even in the darkness, I can see all of the color ebb away from Harry's face. Hermione. He just sputters and spits desperately trying to get the words out. I couldn't. They didn't know that they really... I know. I don't know what else to say. But I had to thank you, Potter. Lucius carries on, as if neither of us had spoken. Thank you for finally seeing sense. You have made the entire task so much easier for all of us. Now, if you'll just give Bellatrix your hand, then we will remove the anti-apparition jinx, and she can apparate you to the Dark Lord. We shall finish this once and for all. Harry nods. <clears throat> Harry nods, his face setting itself in grim determination. <laughs> if you want me to play along with you, then you'll have to give me something in return. He says his voice firm. Expelliarm. Pachecto! Harry's voice. Keep, Harry keeps grip of his wand, deflecting Bellatrix's spell. She stands next to Lucius, shaking with theory. Don't get games with us, you... Calm down, Bella. Lucius mutters. She turns to him, her mouth open, as if she's going to start shouting at him, too. But he silences her with an imperious raise of his wand. Hand. That is what I meant. <laughs> Harry's glaze figures to me. Flickers to and from me to Lucius. What does that mean? You want me to operate with you? Harry says quietly, resolvingly. You need my permission to do it. I knew that. So I'll make a deal with you. I'll let you take me. He pauses for a moment, looking at me. But in return, I want you to set Hermione free. Oh my god, that was my jaw. Did you guys hear that? <gasps> I really hope that picked that up. That was so crazy. It was like... It would make like a really deep, deep sound. It was crazy. That was awesome, though. I was so excited. <laughs> Anyways, um... Lucia's fingers... <laughs> bite down on my arm and the Death Eaters all start to chuckle. You're hardly in a position to negotiate, Potter. Draco laughs, stepping forward out of the shadows. It's fifteen to one. Oh, you're such a powerful wizard. You think you can take all of us on? I hear <laughs> Lucius is irritated breath and take a breath near my ear as Harry's face sets itself into pure hatred as he comes face to face with his old rival. So they got you on board, have they? He says his voice mocking and furious. They must have really been desperate. Do they notice how miserably you failed in your death eater duties last year? Do they have a death wish? Letting someone as useless as you fight alongside them? Draco rests one furiously. But Lucius reaches out and grabs him by the wrist. Not now. Father, did you hear what he... Of course I did, Lucius snaps. But right now, we have more important plans to carry out. This is not the playground at Hogwarts. Remember that. Draco looks down for a moment as if he's going to answer back. But Bellatrix places a hand on his arm and Draco, and draws him back into the shadows, shooting Lucius a resentful look as she does so. Draco consoles himself by fixing Harry with the look of the deepest loathing as he goes with her. I know I could winning in a fight against all of you, Harry says quietly. I know how hard it is. It must be for him to admit to his enemies that he can't win against them. You'll have to give 
Never mind. Mm-hmm.